Aaron Carter's mom decided to release crime scene photos on her Facebook page. Aaron's mom is pissed at how the coroner's office has handled his death so far. Why are the towels perfectly placed? To me, it looks like he took off his clothes. I'm actually kind of floored that they didn't take that for evidence. Carter received multiple death threats before he died. They allowed people to go in and out at their leisure at the crime scene. This bathtub water does reflect decomposition happening in the tub. Many people were making his life miserable. Why didn't they drain the tub once they were done with the investigation? Why did Aaron's mom have to walk in on it that way? Aaron Carter's mother claims that he was killed. She recently shared pictures of the crime scene where Aaron died. These photos are disturbing and tell a different story from what the media reports. Aaron's mother is also calling out her other son, Nick Carter, for his lack of support. So let's get into it. Ever since Aaron Carter's tragic death, people have questioned whether he died of an overdose or if he was killed. And now his mother Jane is speaking out. And I want to give you guys a trigger warning because she shared some really disturbing pictures of Aaron Carter's crime scene and she's demanding a further investigation. Aaron Carter's mom decided to release crime scene photos on her Facebook page. Yes, you heard me right. The place where Aaron Carter reportedly was found all the photos have been leaked on Facebook by his mother. Jane was frustrated that Aaron's death wasn't being investigated as a potential crime. So she posted these pictures of the bathroom where he died on her public Facebook page. Aaron Carter's mother believes he was a victim of a crime, not an overdose. So she made the tough decision to let the world see where he died in order to make her point. Jane posted a series of pictures Wednesday taken in Aaron's bathroom on the day he died. The shots include the bathroom where Aaron's body was found. You can see the water has a greenish tint, and that's because Aaron's body was there for several hours before the housekeeper discovered it. There are also other items included in these photos, like clothing, towels, um, water everywhere in the bathroom. But let's go ahead and take a closer look at Jane's Facebook page and what she's saying. She writes, still trying to get a real investigation for the death of my son, Aaron Carter. I want to share these death scene photos with you all because the coroner wrote it off as an accidental overdose. They never investigated it as a possible crime scene because of his addiction in the past. Look at the photos. They were not taken by police. They they allowed people to go in and out, although a lot of potential homicide information was there for years. Aaron had a lot of death threats and many, many people who were making his life miserable. Aaron's mom is pissed at how the coroner's office has handled his death so far. She is also claiming that they never investigated it as a possible crime scene because of Aaron's addiction past. Another red flag that she mentions about the investigation team is that they allowed people to go in and out at their leisure at the crime scene. I'm going to put some censored photos of the crime scene in this video, but if you look at the water, I was really caught off guard how dark it really is because it does seem like he was in that water for a long time. In my opinion, this bathtub water does reflect decomposition happening in the tub. This is another photo. As you can see, I think that this was made when they pulled his body out of the tub and laid him there. Usually what we do after that is we take pictures of each side of the body, roll them from side to side so we can get those photos. Now as far as this layout goes, to me, it looks like he took off his clothes. I'm actually kind of floored that they didn't take that for evidence. That seems sketchy. So there's definitely some mishandling of evidence, and these photos show that. But going back to the water, I looked this up on Google, and honestly, I felt like the FBI was going to come knocking on my door because I looked up, like, how long does it take for a body to decompose in fresh water? And on Google, it says that it takes about like two or three days. Um, it looks like cold showers, slow decay, but I'm assuming that Aaron was in a warm bath that obviously turned cold. Um, but I, I'm kind of surprised at the color of the water because I feel like that water represents or reflects someone who has been in that bathtub for days, not 
hours. There are also photos of towels on the floor and what appears to be contaminated water spilled on the bathroom tile. Jane says that she has the full support of Aaron's family and friends to post the images because she says she wants to bring attention back to his case. Jane says the photos weren't taken by law enforcement and it's wrong cops allowed anyone in the house after Aaron's body was discovered before doing a full investigation into what happened. And you'd think that would be obvious. I mean, overdose or not, these people should be treating this like a crime scene until they've done a full investigation, not just having these people go in and out of this bathroom where he could have been like potentially killed in. Now, there's a bunch of other people whose DNA is in this bathroom and not just errands. Jane says, because of my son's mental illness and prescription drug issues, the cops just wanted it to be something easy and they didn't have the time or the inclination to address it. Jane believes someone was out to harm Aaron, saying that there are people who must be held accountable. Jane also finds it suspicious that Aaron was allegedly pulled out of the tub while someone performed CPR on the singer, yet the towels appeared to be perfectly placed. So she's bringing up the fact that these towels were laid out on the floor and supposedly they tried to resuscitate him, but it doesn't really look like they did anything or at least the towels that were laid out are just like perfectly there like nobody was ever thrown on top of it. Now let's take a look at Jane's Facebook page because she's been posting a lot on there and some of these posts have caught my eye. Like this one, a proper investigation was not done. I hope and pray Nancy Grace will help with our investigation, which maybe she will. I know she's busy with Murdo the Murdoch trial, which if you guys did not see that Netflix like special, oh my gosh. Um, I pray someone will help us get Aaron's truth. In this post, she addresses TMZ. Just did an interview with TMZ. I'm not backing off. A mother always fights for her cub. I'll do the same for Nick. I just want a proper investigation. Yes, he had a lot of issues, but he never intended to die that way. The tub was still full. No evidence of him even being in there. No water on the floor. Also, Betty, the housekeeper, is Mia referred to Melanie by Angel, who supposedly was a publicist for the Jackson family. It's all too weird and not adding up. Hmm. So it looks like Jane is starting to make some Hollywood connections here. I do want to make a little statement that if Jane wants to come onto my channel, because sometimes TMZ is so you know, nasty with their reporting, she's more than welcome to to come on and share what she knows about the situation. She writes, I'm not afraid of anyone. I just want the truth. Too many things don't add up. I know TMZ is going to say that I just won't accept that Aaron was doing what he did, but I'm saying that even if he was doing it, somebody had a plan to use his addiction to eliminate him. There's no excuse for murder. After Jane caused some ruckus with the crime scene photos, she did start to get some traction, and she shares, I'm happy to say that the LA Police Department is finally investigating Aaron's death. It was only possible because of TMZ and the support they've given me by unfortunately Unfortunately, posting my post. And it seems like Jane was happy with TMZ at first, but then she had some criticism. She wrote, so interesting. TMZ made me look horrible on the live I did. What was that black line on my cheek? Um, it's okay. I understand that it's Hollywood world out there in California, and they want to end the segment with some sort of disclaimer about the LA Police Department. And all I really want is for people who gave Aaron inadequate health care to be held accountable, which hmm, kind of reminds you of like a conservatorship when you're bringing up like health care. I mean, who's managing Aaron's health care besides himself? Then Jane starts to list some names. She writes, Thankfully, it seems like now that the detective is going to interview certain people like Ganville, Spencer, Betty, Angel, everyone who was involved at the end. He was manipulated and driven over the edge by all the users. Melanie knows them all, which is Aaron's partner. Um, Louie, who got Aaron the Whippets, uh, Spencer, and then there are neighbors who sold stories. His mother writes, quote, why are the towels perfectly placed? In others, she alleges Carter received multiple death threats before he died, saying many people were making his life miserable. 
So I'm really glad that Jane is starting to list out these people because now I'm starting to do research on them and making the connections for myself. But if she wants to come on and talk about this, I'm more than happy to hear what she has to share, especially because it seems like she's kind of going against her other son, Nick. You guys know how I feel about Nick Carter. There are a lot of feelings there. But Jane wrote, tell these obviously wealthy people to investigate what really happened to Aaron. The media, Nick won't do it which makes me think that jane and nick are kind of in a disagreement right now with how to handle aaron's death because nick is over here making music and songs about it and capitalizing off of it and jane is uh claiming that this you know battle isn't even close to over that there were people who need to be held responsible for murdering this man also the way that the police are treating jane is so wrong i mean why was she ever in the place where she even stumbled across this crime scene to see these photos and to see the water that her son died in why did they leave the scene that way why didn't they drain the tub once they were done with the investigation? Why did Aaron's mom have to walk in on it that way? My best answer is that they shouldn't have seen it this way. They should have drained the flippin' tub. That is so wrong and pisses me off on very many levels. As far as the other mess on the other side, that is about what's common for medical examiner removal staff to leave behind. And unfortunately, we are not a crime scene cleanup crew. It just seems like really messy and unprofessional, and I'm glad that Jane is bringing attention to this because there should be a valid investigation. I mean, Aaron and everyone deserves that. But there's one last screenshot I need to bring up because when I saw this, I was like, you know what? I'm going to include it because this article writes... The singer's on and off again fiance, Melanie Martin, found messages on Aaron's phone showing a text exchange between him and an identified person who was allegedly demanding $800 for a known substance. She told TMZ in January that this exchange was proof that the death could have been a homicide. We have no idea what this could be. Um, I'm assuming that the text message may be, you know, threatened death because how would this be proof but like jane is asking for these people need to be questioned and i'm all about that i think that they need to investigate everyone question them all put the interviews out publicly let's see what they have to say let's get some body language experts to detect what they are telling us because um there is something sketchy and it seems like the police are down to cover it up but i want to hear what you guys think in the comments below here's my email if you have any other video ideas for me and i'll see you in a new one soon Bye, guys.